remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? In the face of mounting evidence, Iran on Saturday acknowledged that it shot down a Ukrainian jetliner by accident, killing all 176 people aboard. The admission by Iran's Revolutionary Guard undermined the credibility of information provided by senior officials who for three days had adamantly dismissed allegations of a missile strike as Western propaganda. It also raised a host of new questions as to why Iran did not shut down its international airport or airspace on Wednesday when it was bracing for the U.S. to retaliate for a missile strike attack on two military bases housing U.S. troops in Iraq. No one was hurt in that attack carried out in retaliation for the killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani in an American airstrike in Baghdad. Iran's acknowledgement alters the narrative around its confrontation with the U.S. in a way that could anger the Iranian people. Iran had promised harsh revenge after Soleimani's death, but instead of killing American soldiers, its forces downed a civilian plane in which most passengers were Iranian. Hundreds gathered at universities in Tehran to protest the government's late acknowledgement of the planes being shot down. They demanded that all officials involved in the missile attacks be held accountable. They want them tried, brought to justice. Police had to break up the demonstrations because it was getting pretty rowdy. Now, we kind of knew that Iran shot that plane down because it was too coincidental for the attack on the military bases, the U.S. military bases in Baghdad and the plane getting shot down, that was just too coincidental. And this happened almost simultaneously. So you kind of knew that Iran was responsible for that. Why did the United States government and military try to make excuses for Iran shooting the plane down. I'm like, damn, are we enemies or are we allies? Trump always uses any opportunity to pounce on his enemies. Why not now? Why did he stand down? Perhaps we'll never know. One thing I do know, all of America's enemies were once their friends. Every single one of them would give me a huge amount of trepidation thinking about becoming a friend of America's because they will take you out. I can see the Iranians right now like, hey, hey, what is going on? Why, why did you bomb us? Why did you, why did you kill our general? I thought we was friends. <sighs> Hang up the phone in his face. You know Trump probably hung up the phone. Like, I, I don't know, uh, no English. <laughs> Man, I mean, it's wild out there, family. These are the numbers of casualties that were on the plane. Numbers by country, 82 Iranians, 57 Canadians, and 11 Ukrainians. So Iran suffered the most loss, and that's why their people are tripping so hard. They're like, man, y'all supposed to be killing Americans, and y'all done went out here and killed 82 Iranians. And that don't look good. That's not a good look at all. I think the investigation would eventually reveal that Iran was responsible for that plane going down anyway. And I think that's why they went ahead and spoke up and took responsibility because they knew that the investigation would conclude that they were responsible for that plane going down. Why did 
they not block their airspace? Why did they not shut down their international airport knowing that they were bracing themselves for an attack? In keeping with international norms, Iran has invited the United States, Canada, Ukraine, and France to assist in the investigation of the plane crash. Let me tell you something, family. If not for a certain slow poke, bowls over the clown real estate agent, none of this would have ever happened. I blame Trump. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?